Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and we've got a review for you on Max Resource Corp. MXR in Canada. Join the club at richpigsdaily.com. Learn how to trade and find early stage, undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed opportunities at Rich TV Live. You can go to YouTube and subscribe to Rich TV Live or go to our website and join our club, either free or upgrade to VIP at richpigsdaily.com. Now, let's get into Max Resource Corp, a company that I think everybody needs to put on their radar and put on their watch list right here, right now. All right. So this is their Facebook page. So this is their Facebook page. You can see here Max Resource Corporation. Max Resource Corp is an exploration company unlocking Columbia's last mining frontier. So you can follow them on Facebook. This is their Twitter page. I am following them also on Twitter. You can see here Max Resource Corp, at Max Resource Corp, an exploration company unlocking Columbia's last mining frontier with the Caesar Copper Silver Project and its subsidiary asset and RT Gold. We love gold. We love silver. We love copper. Put Max Resource Corp on your watch list, on your radar. We think there's a chance to be a big winner. And let's take a look at the chart. So in 2019, Max Resource Corp actually hit a high, a really nice high of, we call it the high, high, the all-time high of $3. And we can also see here that in August of 2020, it hit a low of, let's just say about nine cents. So we can see here that it is, currently sitting right around 21 and a half cents. So we've seen its high is $3. We know the low is nine cents. It's currently sitting right at 21 and a half. And if we look at the last six months, this is a six month chart, you can see it's kind of been choppy and up and down in this channel, kind of in between the zone here of 15 cents and 30 cents. So it's kind of choppy, kind of going up and down. So need to be aware of all the different areas of support and resistance. And you can clearly see it's kind of chopping around this 17 and a half and 23 cent zone. So that's kind of the low of the zone and the high of the zone for the last six months. Yes, it went a little higher, went over 30, but that was about six months ago. Over the last few months, the highest has been is around 24 and a half and the lowest it's been is about 13 and a half and it's currently sitting right at 21 and a half cents. This is their website, maxresource.com, and you can learn more about all of their projects right here on their website. You can see the Caesar Copper Silver Project in Colombia and the RT Gold Project in Peru. And you can learn about all of their news that's been put out right here by clicking on view release. And you can see here on December 2nd, last week, Max Resource to commence LIDAR survey over the URU project in Northeastern Colombia. So this was listed last week. And you can see here, it's actually listed under the symbol in Toronto Stock Exchange, Venture Exchange under the symbol MXR. In America, listed under the symbol MXROF. And in Frankfurt, Germany, under the symbol M1D2. So you can go through that press release. And what I want to do is I want to go through the presentation right now to really key on all the key areas of the company. So first and foremost, a strategic metals and gold explorer with cash $3 million and a mispriced story with a market cap of only $20 million. So a baby market cap with large-scale exploration copper, silver, and gold exploration projects, expertise managed and advised by established and proven team with in-country geologists, external validation, 
collaborating with a worlding leading copper producer and industry team. Internationally recognized, Caesar has very similar characteristics as the Kupfer Schieffer, world's number six copper plus number one silver. World-class infrastructure at Caesar with presence of gold majors, Glencore and Chevron. RT Gold, located along a prolific gold-producing belt, encompasses two district high gold zones, very high-grade gold zones. Caesar is the next step for 2021 and 2022, approval of four new mining concession contracts at the URU, 70 kilometers squared, URU multiple drill targets within the entire 70 kilometers squared, 290 dash kilometers squared LIDAR survey to be used for drill design, providing unprecedented ground details, group IP surveys to zero in drill targets, Canejo high grade drill targets over 3.7 kilometers with average grade of 4.9% copper, 2% lower cut assays pending. RT Gold assays pending for 1,600 meters of drill core and first site visit in 10 years. This is the successful milestones which lead to an exciting future. So you can see here in 2019, some of their milestones, and then 2020, followed by 2021. And what's next? Historical Drill core RT Gold, assays pending, exploration along Caesar's North 90 kilometer belt, Canejo concession and drill targets, drill targets over the entire URU, 70 kilometers squared, URU LIDAR survey, URU drill permitting survey, and first drilling program URU. So you can see the milestones that will lead to an exciting future. You can see here all the RT Gold Tablon Zone 2001 diamond drilling results and table. And you can see table one, diamond drill hole DDH locations. And table two is diamond, diamond drill hole DDH intersections and gold fire assay results. So you can see all the results in table one and table two. And the RT Gold Tablon Zone Historic Drill Core Assays Pending. Max has completed logging and cutting of drill core from the 2001 Tablon Drilling Program. RESAs of 1,600 meters of core for gold and assay for suspected copper and silver credits is underway. Next step, reassay 1,600 meters of historic drill core field investigations and drill permits. You can see here the RT Gold Tablon Zone historic high grades, 33 holes in 2001 over a 600 meter by 200 meter open in all directions. So you can see the graph there with all the statistics. High grade gold values ranging from 3.1 to 118.1 grams a ton gold over core lengths ranging from 2.2 to 36 meters. RT-29 returned highlight metallic value of 186 grams a ton of gold over 2.2 meters from 42 meters indicating presence of coarse gold. And you can see some of the statistics and the meters underneath. This is the RT Gold Cerro Zone targeting multi mos this is the Cerro Zone high grade gold. And you can see all the statistics for the Cerro Zone high grade gold open all directions and the continuous channel. You can see here the RT Gold in Peru, world class mineral belt, exclusive rights to acquire 100% of RT Gold located 760 kilometers northwest of Lima, Peru. Cerro, a bulk tonnage gold-bearing porphyry, and three kilometers to the northwest. 
tablon, a high-grade gold-bearing massive sulfide. So you can see the areas of focus in Peru. And the CSER third-party validation. So you can see all the third-party validation for the CSER. The CSER potential, this new discovery could lead to the discovery of several major copper silver occurrences similar in size and nature to Kupfer Schieffer in Poland and a collaboration agreement with world leading copper producer under CA working in collaboration with the National Columbian School of Mines and Max achieved top 10 ranked company in the mining sector on the Toronto Stock Venture Exchange top 50 for 2021 achieving a market cap increase of 1,992% and a share price increase of 282% in 2020. You can see the Caesar Basin Historical Oil and Gas Drill Core copper mineralization continues at depth. And you can see the Caesar North lead our assistance in building an accurate 3D model will be key in maximizing the success of Max's Virgin Drill Program at URU, being the first significant exploration event since the discovery of Cerion, the largest coal mine in South America and the basis for much of the critical infrastructure in the Caesar Basin. So you can see some of the areas of interest. The URU 290 kilometer LIDAR high resolution survey. And the Caesar North URU four new mining concessions on November 21st. Max was granted four key mining concession contracts, are contiguous and collectively cover an expanse of 70 kilometers squared, covering the URU zone. To date, the URU copper silver mineralization is identified over 48 kilometers squared. Next steps for URU, infill mapping and sampling of the entire 70 kilometers squared, 290 kilometers squared LIDAR high resolution survey, environmental and socioeconomic surveys for drill permitting, phase one drilling of the delineated targets. You can see here the Caesar North URU major expansion to 48 kilometers, October 2021. URU continuous mineralization spans over 48 kilometers squared, extending a long strike over 12 kilometers and down dip over four kilometers from the elevation of 1,200 meters down to 410 meters and is open along strike and down dip. You can see the highlights underneath with copper and silver and the size and width of the zones that they are drilling. Caesar North Canejo high grade discovery. The Canejo is a new high grade copper silver discovery lying midway along the 90 kilometer long Caesar North zone. So you can see here what it looks like. The Canejo continues the pattern of new copper silver outcrop discoveries, potentially standalone deposit. Next step, systematic mapping of the high grade rock bearing mineralization to outline surface extent and grades, orientation and delineate drilling targets. 3.2% copper plus 32 grams a ton silver over width of 10 meters. And you can see here the Caesar North Canejo high grade discovery highlights essays greater than 7% copper. You can see all the different discoveries of 7% copper or higher and how many grams a ton of silver and the widths. And you can see some of those charts and pictures and what they look like. The Canejo zone looking Northeast. And you can see the 7% plus copper with the 86 grams a ton silver over width of six meters. And some of the different zones and the widths that they're showing.
and the Caesar North Conejo discovery, which was on March, 2021. Conejo high grade zone now extends over 3.7 kilometers with average grade of 4.9% copper using 2% lower cut and open in all directions. 13 rock samples returned values greater than 8% copper, 53 returned values greater than 5% copper, 93 returned values of 2% copper, and above 36 returned values greater than 20% grams a ton silver, over widths ranging from 0.5 to 20 meters. Highlight values of 12.5% copper and 126 grams a ton silver. So you can see what everything looks like with legends. You can see here the Caesar North stock price target for September 2021. And you can see the copper zones, silver width, and sample numbers. Always nice to be able to actually see what the company is drilling for and get photos and charts with all the statistics. You can see what it looks like looking southwest and where their zones and regions are with copper and silver. And this is the AMN Caesar North with samples and photos, 7.2% copper plus 65 grams a ton silver over two meter channel. So you can see what it looks like. Very rich zone and more of the Caesar North. AM consists of high grade Kupfer Schiefer type copper silver mineralization spanning over 29 kilometers squared. Assays range from 1 to 34.4% copper and 5 to 305 grams a ton silver over continuous intervals ranging from 0.5 to 25 meters. So you can see what the pits look like. 34.4% copper plus 305 grams a ton silver across 0 0.5 meters and 24.8% copper plus 230 grams a ton silver over four meters by one meter. So you can see the open pit. The Caesar and Nagalis to both Copper Schaefer and Central African Copper Belt. Max interprets Conejo and URU to be analogous to the Central African Copper Belt CACB type mineralization. Almost 50% of the copper known to exist in sediment hosted deposits is contained in the CACB, including Ivanhoe Mines Limited IVN, 95 billion pound Kamoa copper deposit in the Congo. Max interprets AMN and stock price to be analogous. The copper Schiefer type mineralization, the world's largest silver producer and Europe's largest copper producer. So you can see here the Caesar North 90 kilometer copper silver belt, AMS copper silver discovery in 2019, previous AM South, the first Caesar discovery expanded to 16 kilometers squared and open along strike and down dip, highlights of 5.8% copper and 106 grams a ton silver over intervals ranging 0.5 to 20 meters. You can see the AMN copper silver discovery in 2020, the Conejo Copper Silver Discovery 2021, URU Copper Discovery 2021, major scale mining concession contracts, 70 kilometers squared, and the SP Copper Silver Targets, September 2021, reconnaissance composite grab sample over 25 meters, averaging 4.8% copper and 51 grams a ton silver is considered very significant. You can see the chart and what it looks like. And you can see the areas of focus in Peru and in Colombia with the Caesar. You can see the AMS, the Conejo, the SP, the AMN, and the URU mining concessions. 
Caesar Copper Silver Basin in Northeast Columbia, La Quinta Formation, age 163 by 191 MA Jurassic. You can see the chart with the graph with sedimentary rocks, volcanic rocks, and volcano clastic rocks. This is the Caesar world class mining infrastructure map. So you can see Max Resource Corp areas of focus in Colombia and in Peru and where exactly they are drilling. You can see here that Colombia is ranked number one, ranks, Colombia actually ranks first place for Latin America in the 2020. Fraser Institute Mining Company Survey, and you can see all the majors in Colombia, Barrick Gold, BHP, Billiton, Newmont, Continental Gold, Yamaha Gold, I Am Gold, Grand Columbia Gold, just to name a few, B2 Gold, Agnico Eagle, these are some big majors, and you can see here that Colombia ranks first place in Latin America, second would be Chile, third Peru, these guys are in Colombia and in Peru, then Brazil, then Mexico, Ecuador, Ecuador, Guyana, Bolivia, and then last but not least, Venezuela. So a lot of majors in this area of focus in Colombia. You can see the investment highlights, Caesars Copper Silver in Colombia, historic drilling 200 kilometer district scale, highlight values of 34.4% copper, 305 grams a ton silver, two new high-grade copper discoveries in 2021, first mining concession contracts, 70 kilometers squared, Columbia expert and in-country teams, sustainable community relationships, Columbia, the country ranked as number one in South America for investment attractiveness by the Fraser Institute in 2020, RT Gold in Peru, two distinct high-grade gold systems, three kilometers apart, values ranging from three to 118 grams a ton gold over core length from 2.2 to 36 meters. Third party valuation, TXX Venture 50, top 50 for 2021, max ranked top 10 in the mining sector. That's huge. Collaboration agreement with global copper producer Global, bedded by Kupfer Schieffer Experts AGH and working in collaboration with the National Columbian School of Mines. You can see here, copper is a renewable powered future. Copper is used in a renewables powered future. The price of copper continues to rise, reaching an all-time high of US 10,553 per ton on October 18, 2021, driven by insatiable demands of the green revolution in combination with the ever depleting copper reserve base. Global copper demand is expected to jump from 2.1 million tons in 2020 to a whopping 4.3 million tons in 2030, more than doubling in a decade. You can see being used for power grids, EV batteries, wind, solar, and electric vehicle charging. Electric vehicle EV uses 80 kilograms of copper, mainly for wiring, compared to 20 kgs for a gasoline-powered car. Demand for EV charging stations is expected to rise more than 1,000% by 2030 compared to 2020. New energy technologies are copper mineral intensive. Photovoltaics PV solar powered systems require about five tons per megawatt MV of copper, while grid energy storage installations rely on 2.7 to 3.6 tons per megawatt. You can look here at the capital structure of the company. We always like to understand the fundamentals of the company. So clearly you can see there are 97,604,099 shares issued outstanding with around 5 million warrants and 5 million options, a market cap, a really a baby market cap of only 20 million with cash in hand of 2 million with in the money warrants and options of $1 million. You can see the breakdown of, of the warrants, what price they're exercised at. Some warrants are exercised on December 30th, 2021 at 10 cents. Another 500,000 warrants will be exercised 
on May 1st, 2022 at $0.10, and another 895,000 warrants will be exercised at $0.45 in 2023, with an additional 641,000 warrants exercised at $0.72 in February 6th of 2023. So in order for them to get in the money on these warrants, there is enormous upside potential, upside potential for a multiple for investors. You can see options exercised at 15 cents on January 3rd, 2025. So these are years away. That's 1.5 million at 15 cents, 2.4 million at 21 cents, August 24th, 2025. 1 million shares at 40 cents, August 24th, 2025. And 75,000 shares at $3.60, March 20th, 2024. So none of those options will be coming into the market for years. You can see their management and industry team. I have interviewed the CEO, Brett Matic, who you can see has been the CEO of ASX on the TSXV and AIM. Aztec Resources was part of a $300 million merger and Cape Lambert, a $380 million buyout. You can see their team here head of exploration, Colombian expert, strategic advisor, and all the key members of the team. So Max Resource Corp, a strategic metal, metals and gold explorer focused on copper, silver, and gold in Colombia and Peru. Love to know what you guys think about these videos. Love to know what you think about Max Resource Corp. I really believe that the upside is tremendous for this company. You can see that when you look at their one-year chart, that the price has been exponentially higher from where it is. We really believe that mining stocks have been beat down and that they're undervalued, underappreciated, and underexposed. And we believe that now is the time to really start thinking about positioning yourself in mining stocks. And I'd love to know what you think about this company, Max Resource Corp, a company focused on doing mining in Colombia and Peru for copper, silver, and gold. Three amazing assets that we love here at Rich TV Live. If you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about Max Resources Corp. Symbol in Canada, MXR. And if you'd like to learn more about this company, all you need to do is comment on the video with your questions, and I'll do my best to get back with you with those answers. Also, stay tuned to our CEO interview coming out soon, and you'll learn more about the company directly from the CEO. I must remind you that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, we believe this is a company that is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, put on your radar, put on your watch list. We believe it has a chance to be a big winner for our community. And we love to bring you winners and we love to bring them to you first. If you think that this company is undervalued, underappreciated or underexposed, please comment on the video and let us know what you think about Max Resource Corp, a company that we think has an incredible future, a baby market cap, with money in the bank and enormous growth potential. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring the winners and we bring them to you first. Thank you for watching everybody. Go and subscribe to Rich TV Live to get access to more winning picks before they explode. And if you haven't joined our club, what are you waiting for? Go and join at richpicksdaily.com. You can join for free and get access to all kinds of information and rewards just by simply being a part of the community. Or you could upgrade to VIP and get access to trade ideas 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You should join the club today to find more undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, early stage junior mining companies, just like Max Resource Corp, that we think has a chance to be a big winner. Thank you guys for watching. It's your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and I'm out.